Hi everyone, my name is Clea Gonet, and welcome back to another Odyssey tutorial. Today, we'll be discussing how to manage your tablet settings in Odyssey. First, you need to have your tablet driver installed. If that is not the case, I invite you to check the manufacturer's website if needed. Otherwise, the Praxinos launcher provides links for Wacom and Thanks Labs. Now, let's explore the different stylus input settings available in Odyssey. By default, Odyssey uses the native mode, which should work with all tablets. However, we'll still go through the other options to understand what they offer. To access the stylus input settings in Odyssey, go to the settings menu and select stylus input. Here, you will find several options to choose from. Each of these options has specific characteristics, so let's go through them one by one. The non option means your tablet will act like a mouse. There will be no pressure sensitivity or tilt functionality. This mode is useful if you prefer a basic input method without the advanced features of a stylus. The NS event option is for Mac users only. This mode will have its own tutorial once the Mac version of Odyssey is available. If you're using a Mac, take tune for a dedicated tutorial on this setting. The ink option is a legacy settings, so we'll ignore this one for now. This setting is outdated and not recommended for current use. The WinTab option uses the WinTab API, which is compatible with Wacom Pro and Zexelab tablets. Choose this setting if you're using a Wacom Pro or Zexelab tablet for optimal performance and compatibility. The native option uses an improved version of the Ink API developed by Proxinos, and it works with all tablets. This is why it is the default mode in Odyssey. This setting provides the best overall experience, with full support for pressure sensitivity and tilt, making it ideal for most users. Since native is the default mode in Odyssey, let's focus on configuring Windows settings and drivers to ensure everything works smoothly. First. Let's make sure the necessary Windows features are enabled. Open the Windows setting menu and navigate to Bluetooth and devices. And then, Pen and Windows Ink. Ensure that Let me use my pen as a mouse in some desktop apps is enabled. This ensures that your pen behaves correctly within Odyssey and other applications. Next, let's configure the driver for your tablet. If you are using a Wacom or Xenselab tablet, make sure the Windows Ink mode is enabled. Open the driver setting for your tablet. In the Wacom Tablet Properties, go to the Mapping tab and ensure Use Windows Ink is checked. For Xenxelab's tablet, open the Xenxelab's driver settings and enable Windows Ink in the appropriate section. If you are using any other brand of tablet, there is nothing else to do. The native mode in Odyssey is designed to work seamlessly with all tablets without additional configuration. If you prefer to use the WinTab API, you will need to switch the mode in Stylus Input Settings and then restart the project. Go to the Settings menu in Odyssey, select Stylus Input, and choose WinTab. After making this selection, restart the project to apply the changes. Next, you'll need to configure your tablet drivers to ensure Windows Ink is disabled. This step is crucial for the WinTab API to function correctly. Please note, the WinTab API is only available for Xenxelab's tablet and for Wacom Pro tablets. Non-pro models like the Wacom Bamboo do not use this API and should be used with the native mode instead. For other tablets, switch back to native mode to ensure compatibility and functionality. That wraps up our tutorial on managing your tablet settings in Odyssey. I hope this helps you get the most out of your drawing experience. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials.